What's up gamers? This is NGG here with another review video. This time it is for NG Spirit Hunter. This is um, the second book in the Spirit Hunter franchise. So Deathmark is the first book and NG Spirit Hunter is the second book. Now this is not a direct sequel. The direct sequel to uh, the, the first book which is uh, Deathmark is Deathmark 2. This is like an associated book so like they will talk about stuff from H city but this is a whole completely different city so I just want to get that off the the rip that this is a completely different city gets a completely different town but similar in that same vein story so let's get into what this a book was about so this is a detective horror visual novel um you will be moving along and you will be doing things in the game so it's not just straight up reading you will have to do some detective work if uh if you have watched my other review uh, it'll be in the same vein so what you're doing is you're trying to solve these like cases and we'll get into that with gameplay so let's talk about story uh, story first and then we'll get into gameplay so the ng spirit hunter takes place like i said in a brand new city um and you have this brand uh, this brand new character this boy who his parents have uh, passed away and he's you know like he's old enough to live on his own but his aunt still like kind of you know cares for him and kind of takes care of him and so um when she's working because she works at a bar he watches his little uh cousin and um his his aunt comes and picks her up at the end of the day so they've been doing this for a while and he's like not one of those like he's not in school but he's also not like he's not going anywhere in life is what i want to say like he he takes his like he goes with a friend of his and they um do like these fighting like i guess you would say a little like um fight club they do these little fight clubs and um you know so he's a brawler at the end of the day and that's how he makes his living um you know in uh to afford his apartment that he stays at so um his aunt picks up every day um her, her daughter and you know that's how things are going for a while and then one the like the first day he gets like this little black card with a riddle on it and um you have to solve the riddle and then once he gets that card strange things start happening like um things that that they didn't notice was happening before cars come barreling at them from nowhere and stuff like that starts happening and then at one point his little cousin disappears like she's in her house the doors are all locked and she just straight up disappears and then you see this little um and i don't know how to pronounce the name so i won't um it's something with a k and i'll, I'll pop it up on the screen um and you see her and she's like hey do you want to play a game with me if you play the games with me you'll get your cousin back so she is essentially being held hostage by this spirit who just wants to play games with the guy um and as he continues playing her little games her little death games uh she will you know she promises to give the cousin back and so the first time you know these death games are not fun because he can lose his life um he has like these little mouths that show up on his face the closer he is to the end of the death game and the closer if he's not close enough to solving the death game by the end he could die because like, literally a death game so um he has to solve whatever's going on with these spirits each spirit has passed away in some kind of way or fashion where you need to figure out how to i guess like kind of get their spirit to cross over without not being angry about how they die 
and accepting, I guess, their death or accepting what happened. Uh, if you do not have the spirit pass away in a gentle manner and they pass away, I mean, you know, they cross over aggressively, they will take one of your people with you. Um, now, with this book, um, this game was super hard for me to do without a uh, strategy guide. So I usually hate playing games with strategy guides, but I found with these um, these these set of books that I cannot play this without a strategy guide because I will lose everybody. I won't know what to do. Uh, these are very hard to solve puzzles. So. If you are some of the lucky few that can play this game and figure out how to cross these spirits over without taking your people, I congratulate you because I could not. Um, let's get in um, to gameplay because that's the gist of the story uh, while you're playing the game and the, the the killing game. The next one, the next in the gameplay. So uh, you have a couple of things that your character can do. Can do. You can walk around. You can flash your light, uh, try to find puzzles, try to read the clues. Um, you have a log of everything you found where you can go back in your log and read uh, what's going on. You pick up items and like these are seemingly useless items that you're picking up, but you can use them to get the spirit to cross over depending on which items are for which spirits and if the spirit requires it or not um to pass over to the, to cross over um a lot of it is like i said detective work and with this one with this game specifically um sometimes you need to go back into areas you've already investigated once you trigger something else um most times they will tell you sometimes they will not if you're not well i might have not been paying attention when they told me uh to that uh the crossover like to go relook in areas that I've looked and reinvestigate, and I think that's where I started getting really lost, and then had to use a strategy guide because uh, I had investigated everything in the areas that they allowed me to be in for that um, chapter of the puzzle, and um, I couldn't go past, and it was that I had to go and research the areas I've already searched after I triggered something else. So that is one of those things that can happen. You can have to re go into areas that you have already gone and reinvestigate and look for further clues to solving these mysteries each of these uh each of these games that she has out for you uh each spirit is in a different chapter so every spirit and every area are in different chapters i believe there's only one where the area kind of repeats itself in a second chapter but usually each chapter has its own area where you are going into um and like if you are familiar with the first game there are there is this one and these are like side questy type things called d quest or something like that where if you do the quest you will find out more about stuff that happened in H city in your game so uh if you if you haven't read the first book it'll help you figure out a little bit about what's going on in H city and if you have it's like a a nice little callback to the stuff that you experienced in the first game so um like i said this game was super duper hard for me to figure out without a chapter i did like a lot of the the puzzly things that they added uh a lot of the gameplay like putting things in different places uh i did leave my gameplay on the most horror mode um because i find like these books don't scare me because I can usually like stop reading once I get scared so I put it on the most aggressive like horror mode that you can I think there are three three levels that you can put it on and I pick the most aggressive you don't have to if you don't want to that's an option in the very beginning when you start like how aggressively scared you want the game to be scary you want the game to be and because I wasn't too scared of this game I uh, the last one I put it on a super aggressive so um and there were a lot of like times where the characters would like pop out of nowhere 
Um, sometimes they'd be all in the front of the screen and sometimes they'd be off to the side where you just thought you saw something and didn't. Um, I did like that feature that you can change it to to how, how much horror you want in these games. Um, so that was the story. Um, so like I said, he was trying to get his sister back. I mean, his cousin back. So you are doing all these games to get your, your cousin back. Um, now let's get into a rating for you guys. Um, I'm going to rate this from one to five. Um, this game was super hard for me. I will put that out there. Um, normally I would probably rate this higher, but because this game was really hard for me and it might be something that you enjoy the, the, the difficulty spike of this game. I'm going to give it a three. It was pretty good. I liked it. Like, I, if it wasn't as hard as it was, I probably would have given it a four. The story was great. Uh, like, the character building was great. Uh, I just couldn't solve a lot of these puzzles and get 100%. Um, and for me, that was a detriment to the game. But for somebody who loves puzzle solving, that might not be. That might be something that is completely up your alley. Uh, unfortunately, puzzly games are not mine, which is which is why I give it the caveat that I gave it. Like for me, I would, if this game wasn't as hard, I would probably give it a four. But because it's so hard for me, I gave it a three. Um, and if, I am going to still read the next book. I have the next book queued up for. I think I'll start reading it in September. This book, to be fair, I had to take lots of breaks just because how long the story is. Like. Each chapter maybe is about two hours. I, I'm a slow reader as well, I will say that. So it might be less for you. Um, I, I was trying to solve as much as I could before going into the to the strategy guide. So there was a lot of me going backwards. So it did take me a couple of, like, I didn't play it every day. I played it maybe once or twice a, uh, 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 or three times a month. So I wasn't heavily, like in the book so it did take me a couple of uh months to read it because i was just like reading one one chapter or one section of the book uh a month or something like that just because it's not horror season so i didn't want to be in the scary i didn't want to be too much in spooky season which uh, like i said it's not a detriment to the book i still finished it i still enjoyed it um i think the book took me like 20 plus hours to read i will put the the thing on the bottom of how long it took me to read but i enjoyed it for what it was um if you are a horror fan or a visual novel fan you will probably really enjoy this game and the other games in this series um let me know if this is your cup of tea if you've read this book what were your thoughts if you're interested in reading this one or the first book death mark let me know in the comments below and as always don't forget to like and subscribe if you've made it this far thanks for watching guys happy gaming bye